Hello, welcome in. It's the Yak. Promo code Yak on Roback.com, R H O B A C K.com. Promo code Yak, 20% off your first purchase, Roback.com. Promo code Yak, Q Zips, Polo, Hoodies, Joggers, Shorts. Hello, everyone. Hello. Nick. Oh, what? I like those pants. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Yeah, they're green for Earth Day. Oh, my hat. Yep. My yep. hat is green for Earth Day. That's right. Uh, speaking of which, Titus, Bud, what, what, what's going on? No holiday spirit? We only have one planet, everybody. <laughs> Do your part to save it. <laughs> Please recycle. This is so great because this is the, this is the moment where it's it's too much because you're too just much. in a trash. It's <laughs> yeah. the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, that's looks so uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. So you got to wear this for the whole. Yeah. Let's do a long one today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have him run the gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> the arm comes out. Plus, if I get so wet sharp. today, this would be it'd be a great day to get wet. I don't know. It'd fill up. You'd drown. I got the lid on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you do have the lid. Oh, on. He has the lid on. <laughs> you <laughs> thought of everything, man. You look great. Uh, and you just ordered a can, right? That's not like a pre pre. No. Costume. Yeah, I just went to Home yeah. Depot and bought. This. Did some work yeah. on that. Um, thing. Everywhere is a costume store. Wait, yeah. you can't you can't put on your headphones. No, I, <laughs> I would be freaking out. I get, I hate tight spaces yeah. like that. I don't know if I'll leave this on. Also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna have to. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. No, if you don't want to leave it on, maybe maybe we you take it off and you put it somewhere, and then you get in it and just have your dick dangling out. Oh, oh. yeah. That's a good idea. Until someone that would be some snatch that'd be, your penis. That'd be funny to be naked in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I completely forgot it was Earth Day, to be completely honest. <laughs> yesterday, I think yesterday, like, someone tweeted at me, like, can't wait to see what you're wearing tomorrow. And I was like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> and I scrambled, and this uh, is what I came up with. I, I, I forgot it was Earth Day, and I spent Saturday picking up trash with my kids. I thought we were just, like, I thought one of them did something a, wrong. Yeah, community service. Yeah. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Today's Earth Day. Yeah. There it is. Do you guys ever have to do that? What? Get in trouble and go pick up trash in an orange fucking Community never had service? To get in trouble. It's not community service. Uh, that like sounds court like mandated. Service. That's community service. That's community service, service. If it's court mandated, it's not out of the kindness of your heart. Therefore, I think it's more I think you punishment. Get, you get the punishment's community service. I think it's court mandated community service or just community service. Okay, true. Court. Okay, I did it court mandated. Uh, yeah. uh, you no. did court mandated? Were, were you a little trouble boy? Yeah, col- freshman year of college, I got like four underages. Uh, and then they were like, go pick up trash on a highway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's Our, very dangerous. Ours was you had to pick up shit at the dog shelter. Ooh. You had to clean, ca- spray out cages. And, Ooh. Yeah. You get to pet the dog. But I never, I never got it. I was a good boy. You know, that's that that does suck. That job does suck. But sometimes you get in a rhythm with that hose and you. Hose is fun. Yeah. yeah. Hose, <laughs> a hose pressure, is fun. A pressure washer? Yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah. The, I'm rewatching the OJ documentary right now, and he, when he got arrested for uh, domestic violence, probably a good, like, hey, there's something wrong here. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had to do community service. He just ran a uh, charity golf outing. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. System hard at work. That's a good <laughs> <laughs> Real good. Just had his friends play golf with him. Called the community service. So what's up, everyone? Hey. Nick, I have a present for you. What? I have a couple boxes for us. I have a box. So You have a box too? Liam Blutman, his brother Luke, gets here tomorrow. Oh, we're gonna this is when we have the three Blutmans? Is he coming with with ashes? Oh my god. (laughs) Oh, this is his ashes? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Oh my god! But uh, I feel like we should have all three together on the show tomorrow. Yeah, and then we'll unbox it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good call. We'll do Ash. Well, maybe we should Ash Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, we, we yeah. Well, so we'll. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, but there he is. That's him right here. That crazy motherfucker. <laughs> this is him. Yeah, Ralphie. Yakagami. Right? I've been tossing him to people in the office and then telling him what it is. Ralphie boy. Ralphie boy. Okay, so he's with us. Mm-hmm. Is this the first dead person we've had on the egg? Uh, Almost okay. certainly not, right? Oh. Surely we've had a dead guy. Have we had somebody that's been on the act that's died after? Mm. Ray Romano? OJ? Is Ray OJ. Romano dead? Mm. I'm sure one of the callers has died. Do you think? Yeah. Sure. I think we would have I hope found Scott Pen- Penis is still alive. I think Gar's okay. 
Oh, no. Man. Huh. Huh. I don't think so. I think the Reason guy ended up being a serial killer. Who? Oh, the guy that got Reason? Yeah. I've always wanted to do an interview and just save it until the person dies, but that's probably fucked up, huh? Yeah. We had our one chance when we interviewed Tommy Lasorda, because he was basically dead. Yeah, you'd have to do a really old person. Yeah. Who would you draft right now as your old interview? Oh, like find we, someone who- We've like, lost Bob Barker. Betty White's gone. Who's Clint the, Eastwood. Clint Eastwood? Mm-hmm. Clint Eastwood's looking rough. Uh, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman's looking Gene. rough. That's just yeah. not Gene Hackman. Right? That also no. was fucked he up. They were bad. trying to say that, like, oh, he's a repeat uh, dresser. So am I. Yeah. Yeah. Every fucking weekend, I wear the same thing over and over. Yeah. And it wasn't it's, even it wasn't even like back to back days. It was, it was like, like a week. A week later, it's <laughs> called laundry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dick Van Dyke, we found out was alive. Right? Oh, oh that's still kicking. shocking. He's still kicking. Dick Van Dyke's still alive. Yeah. No. He looked old when he was young. Maybe take a flyer on Magic Johnson. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's good. I think he's probably living to two hundred. Yeah. Will it, it when he dies? Will it because be because of AIDS? I don't think so. No. I th- he's he's. Had it for thirty three years. Did he really have it? Does he really? I I I'm in on the conspiracy that they needed a famous person to do it. Uh, mm. But then nobody's he, volunteering to be the AIDS guy. Yeah, and but he they retired. Gave, <laughs> he became like this billionaire businessman afterwards. Yeah. You think they? Yeah, they t- they tapped his shoulder. I think he AIDS for cash. How old yeah. Dick Van Dyke? One ten. Gotta be ninety. Yeah, a thousand. I don't think he, I don't think he's a thousand. All right, fuck it. Who's Dick Van Dyke? He had a show called The Dick Van Dyke Show. Okay. He just got lucky because his name was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays it would be mm-hmm. Dick uh, be, Outback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Van Dyke. Uh, I have a gift for you, Nick. Oh, cool. I I want you to have it. It was given to me. This is this, is it a knife? No. Is this ashes? No. So <laughs> what that is? No. I'm, can I feel it first? Yeah. Yeah. No way! Yeah, what? How did you? It's this. It's that's a key a, to a city. It's a key to Clarksburg. <laughs> it, like, West the key Virginia. to Clarksburg. Yes. Oh, oh my wow. God! This is the best. Yes. You got the key to Clarksburg. I got the key to Clarksburg. And you had it for two days, and now you give it. I'm giving it to you. Oh my God! I have Clarksburg. You have Clarksburg. Oh my God! The mayor was a great guy. Also, the starter at the local uh, golf course. This is the best thing that's ever happened it's to perfect. me. Perfect. Congrats. Thanks, man. Yeah. He oh literally was like, if you guys ever want to golf, I'm the starter at the court. You put it on your keychain? I want to put on my carabiner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you own yeah. Clarksburg now. I have Clarksburg, and I can do with it what I want. Didn't you say bad things about Clarksburg? Mm-hmm, but it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Mark Plutman just texted me. He said, my pop's ashes still beat d low on the gauntlet. We might have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Someone might have to wear it. Wear the ashes? Yeah. <laughs> Like a baby carrier? Yeah, we should have to wear it and see what we can, what the time could be. I can bring the Nuna in. Yeah. Put him in there. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's great. Wow. That's fucking awesome. Wait, yeah. let me take a picture of you that. You have a gold yeah. penis. That man's up. Dude, you got to go to Clarksburg. You just, you're the mayor now. I could walk in any. Anywhere. You also have to be at the golf course at 6 a.m. for the first tee time. Oh. Well, actually, probably like five. Yeah. Get the cart's ready. This yeah. is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you, Dan. You're the mayor of Clarksburg. City's mine. Clarksburg was cool. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I can say whatever I want now. No, it was, it was a nice city. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's home of uh, Jimbo what? Fisher. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. West Virginia sneaky got a lot of football coaches, right? Oh, yeah. Saban and Jimbo, but I don't yeah. know. That's sneaky. My <laughs> Bob Huggins' daughter was there, so I said hello to her. All right. How's Bob doing? Uh, not well. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not well. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, not well. I, I don't think well. Was it? Is he doing the golf thing? Because I know he has trouble with his drives. Oh. <laughs> Dave got nervous because I think like there's a <laughs> hospital that Bob Hugg- like he basically got cornered to donate to a hospital. The Bob Huggins is building, but Dave was like, Huggins is building a hospital. Well, he was, but Dave was like, I'll donate when you guys break ground. Like, I'm not going to just donate to whatever, you know what I mean? Like, get break ground and then I'll donate. And I don't think they've broken ground, but he was like, If Huggins is here, he's going to mention the $500,000. <laughs> well, yeah, because Dave got pressure into donating to Huggins before. And then Huggins on Twitter was trying to get Barstool to buy the Coliseum. Yeah, that's right. We should have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should have bought it. Fuck. 
How you doing, Brandon? Good. Nice shirt. It's a good Monday shirt. Great shirt. We were at dinner. Great Monday shirt. Friday night. Oh yeah, let's hear. Let's hear because we have a. We also have to get into. Oh, games. you're going right into this? Yeah, let's go. I told you I couldn't wait. So yeah. you guys. Oh. You guys went to the Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw concert in Milwaukee. Just a nice little date between the guys. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, we had women with us. Oh. Well, I yeah, I was with two, and you came as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So there we are. Yeah. Did you ever leave? He made me wear the bandana. Did that you ever hard. go to the bathroom and leave Nick with your wife? Sure did. Oh. In fact, a Nick, lot. Nick took my wife to the I bathroom. I sure did because you, you, you got back <laughs> I just and then she back. was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And you took her. Well, yeah, because I thought you would have. Yeah, but the bathroom. And you were like, but I just got back. The bathroom was one door outside the, uh, the it was, Listen, bathroom man, was 25 feet it away. It doesn't matter. You always, you always walk with them. Yeah. Always. He took my wife to the bathroom. Yeah, we're gone. Forty-five she, seconds. Ye, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Tell the story. Um, we were at dinner. Okay. We had Where? A, we went to Mater's. Oh, you did go to Mater's. We yes. weren't going to go to Mater's. We tried every spot around there. We tried all the sports bars because he wanted curds, and uh, they were all they all had an hour wait. So we ended up walking to Mater's, and they said that we'll seat you immediately. So we went and Mater's sat. doesn't have curds. Mm -mm. They didn't have curds. They might have had curds. I didn't see curds. They got shanks out the wazoo. They had shanks. I had a shank. I had a pork shank. How do they not have curds? And Nick takes the menu and he orders. Him. This isn't. I don't know if this is going to land. It's not going to land. I All know right, it's not no, going to no, land. No, no, no. But it's you're fine. already you're already halfway down. The menu had a cool guy. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. And I, I misread this. one of the words I got to the this. waiter and made a fool. There was a one style. one hundred year old fashioned, one hundred year old fashioned drink that he wanted to drink a manly drink, but he thought it. It said pear instead of year, so he ordered the 100 pear old fashioned. Then why was it? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? There was not a single pear. Oh, and the guy, you, you must have felt stupid. You know how bad it feels to be talked down to from a man in Lederhosen? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What did you say? Oh. And then I said it again, and then he said, that says 100 year. Oh. Oh, it was the worst And I thing. still had to get it, and there was yeah. no fruit taste whatsoever. That's brutal. I ordered, I had three. That's brutal. And then we went to Tim McGraw and had a good time. That's it? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, Tim McGraw, very good shape. Mm-hmm. Good look. Yeah. Handsome, jacked. Yeah. Two years older than Brandon. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Is that true? So I think you could achieve that. He was wearing it. He was wearing a sheer ass shirt. You could see both his nipples. Both nipples. Oh yeah. And he looked hot. Tight. Yeah. He looked very hot. What's Tim McGraw's big song? I went skydiving, Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Mountain. Come on. Point seven seconds. I like it. I love it. I, I like it. I love it. it. I, I want some, some more, more of, of it. it. There you go. I tried. But he's got a bunch of big songs. But yes, those were the big two. Is it Country Boy song Summer? We, yeah, it's Country Boy that? Summer. Okay. It's Country Boy Summer. I'm going to see him again in next month. Oh. In Where? next month. Uh, Chicago. Oh, he's at United Center on May thirty first. Wow, I'm gonna go. I enjoyed it because I had to decide whether I take my wife to this one or my daughter, who's also a big fan. So I'm gonna take my daughter to the next one because I took my wife to this one. Nice. And she she got drunk. Uh, yeah, your wife did. I yeah. went and got drinks and I ordered his wife. She double. probably was nervous. Two being doubles. Dick. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you bought her drinks. Yeah, I bought her two that, doubles. That's a date. That's a quad. Wasn't really a date. I mean, I was right there. I was standing there. Uh, the spurs didn't fit on my shoes. Uh huh. Mm. A shame. So they were left in the hotel room. Tim McGraw looked dead at me, and I was wearing that stupid bandana. You looked awesome in that bandana. Can I see a picture of you. Oh, well, that it was just there with us. I was wearing the bandana. Oh, you look good. Yes. Yeah, that's that's. that's you guys look like you're a couple. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> that was, yeah. Yeah. You went for the older guy, sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brandon's hiding all his hickeys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And then Brandon was using mine as a leash. <laughs> <laughs> the young calf and the old. Boy. Yeah, that's right. He walked me to my seat, <laughs> <laughs> which was his lap. Yeah. <laughs> so that sounds like a fun Milwaukee excursion. That's right. Also, Milwaukee's a good town. It is. It's very good. Really town. good town. Um, we also had someone else on the show go to Milwaukee, and I don't know where to start. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Crispy fade, Che. First of all, I was in the I was in the boat with in, in the sun yesterday when I looked at that picture. I did think it was a spill. I know. Yeah. Because I was I was hoping it was a spill too, but it was. Stephen, where would you like to start? I mean, we have a video of you eating a hot dog with Roan. Yep. That was an ad. Anything for the for the advertisers? You also look at this. What advertiser was that? <laughs> Game time. 
Oh, they required oh. you to eat a hot dog, Lady in the Tramp God style. Damn. I nice. went to. I just threw up creative. an Instagram story, but yeah, I guess you could deep throat instead. Mm-hmm. And then um, <laughs> we have the. <sighs> uh, this one. Just go ahead. Just you say whatever you want to say. Let's maybe have a visual aid for this one. Okay. Did I. You didn't bring one back. Come on, no space. I'd like oh, one. you did. All right, all right, oh, all right. So what? introduce it, and then and then <laughs> we'll show it. it. All right. So, uh, <laughs> I, Rowan's pretty hooked up at, the, at these Bucks games. Oh, so it's knows, a napkin. Yeah. He know. Well, he knows. Every, so we we got into this. Um, well, yeah. He has lounge. a podcast with a player on the team. Yes, but he knows like all the people that work in the the suits and the marketing and all that stuff. So, uh, and the client relations. So we, but, we got but, to. How a special is that shocking area. to you? Well, I'm just saying. We we okay. got to the special area for halftime. And it was some type of lounge, and they had uh, terrific jalapeno poppers and a bunch of other stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. And right when I went up, there's plates and napkins, and the napkins, biggest napkins I've ever seen in my life. So uh, I told Roan, I said, hey, just take this picture of me. I was like, this is going to be big. Look at that big square in the napkin. <laughs> Yeah, so Brandon thought this was a spill. I thought that was a spill. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, which would have been awesome. Oh, no. I, I know that's that why I got like the napkin. He peed his shadow. pants upwards. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had a tucked boner <laughs> in his yeah. My so, favorite, there's another video of him watching the game yes. then that a fan took from above, and he's still just on his own, no one recording it that he knows of. Yeah, look at this. Excitedly <laughs> showing the napkin. <laughs> he's like, look at this napkin, dude. <laughs> he's so <pumped. laughs> All right, Steven, so bring it out here. Okay. Why, so, w- actually, just so you guys can see, I just opened a uh, standard fork knife. Oh, spoon well, those combo. are always small. Yeah. You understand okay. what big sure. is. Sure. I- I'll show you this, and then I'm going to show you the Milwaukee Bucks napkin. Okay, <laughs> okay. Those fork and knife napkins are bullshit. Yeah, those are, yeah, no, like those are not napkins. It's not a napkin. It can't absorb. It can't wipe. Yeah. All right. All right. Bullshit-ass napkin. Small. That's your standard napkin. Uh, this is standard the one napkin. comes in the... Yeah. The sure. fork knife. Okay, so everyone can see it. This is a standard napkin. This is unfold. This is like. Uh, <laughs> okay, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, yeah, sit down yeah. over here. Sit down over here. In person, that looks like a regular Kyle, napkin to me. We we'll go from Kyle to Stephen Chase grabbing a napkin. I think you just. This is the first time you've ever been like in a nice place that has just Tough better one. quality napkins. I mean, it's the same quality. It's just huge. All right, unfold it. it All right. Uh, this is that's, massive. That's, that's a napkin. This is massive. That's a napkin. This a is napkin. the size of my torso. It's a napkin. Let me hold that, it. That's a napkin. It's a napkin. huge. Most napkins are folded. Yeah, no, this is this napkin. is just a napkin. napkin. I knew you guys were going to. It's, it's massive. It's, 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 uh, a it's, a it's a napkin. It's a napkin. Yeah. TJ Brandt, my latest uh, retweet, please. What? Who? Uh, this is just, this is, this is actually like any, this is what the napkin looks like. I would never, this is just a napkin. No, you folded it in half. Oh, Kool Aid Killer Twenty Two. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, that's who too. we're using as your witness no, no. here. So this, this is this is ha- this is how it was it was set. It Pull was set up my like latest this. retweet. Why would you ever unfold the napkin in the first place? This it was in my pocket. Right, but you, you wouldn't. That I, wasn't an answer to that question. We all have to find if I'm on Chase's side. It's a decent sized napkin. All right, I'll find a bigger napkin. We have to find a bigger napkin at a sporting okay. event this summer. All right, so get okay. uh, let's get a thumbtack. <laughs> Put, Put it, it on, on the wall. wall. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's the standard for the napkin. And this is how it came. Mm. It was not. We like understand this. how napkins work. You are talking <laughs> down to us a bit about the napkin. Yeah, he's, <laughs> we've seen napkins. This is this is what it looked like. Have Massive. you ever judged a place's napkin before? You've been to like Madison Square Garden and said this is an average sized napkin, or was this the first time you felt s- struck to talk about the napkin? Milwaukee Bucks Arena, brand new, really nice. We were like five rows off the court. We were in some really nice places. As soon as I saw this thing, I was blown away. Can we get it? Was can, this. CJ, can you see the napkins? Pl- can, can we were in that building Friday in? night. Can it was. See? These weren't everywhere. This was in like one specific area. Like if you went out and got hot dogs, like you couldn't get this. Yeah, you don't. You forgot the fact that Roan somehow got hooked up. Yeah, with yeah. napkins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See if Roan can zoom in. I want to. So I you think that's the napkin of the elite? Do you think the wealthy are used to that napkin? And and to do this on Earth Day. Yeah. Wow. Oh, in fairness, it was yesterday. In, right in his yeah. face. Yeah, did you, did you use the napkin? 
I used one of the napkins. I, I brought. And then you just I grabbed one an extra just for, for no reason. You just grabbed an extra as a prop, just because. For just a prop, thought it'd yes, be because I knew we were for a little talk bit of attention. Yeah, wow. that's like one earth old tree. So you took yeah. twice as many as you right. should have taken. Right. Yeah, I only I had got a little bit of the jalapeno sauce on my, so I just dabbed it and threw it out. I, Thank you. So for you didn't us what need that much napkin. No, I took about four. Oh my god. No, I'm saying like you didn't need that much napkin for your little sauce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got to get. I, I want to talk to Ron. I want to see what. Yeah, I'll get a thumbtack. I'll put this up by the end of the show. Okay, great. Right, thanks, guys. Can you tell Connor to come in here too? He took the bistro. Yeah, I know. I told him he could. Okay. Because I felt bad because he's like hey, bistro list. Kind of looked at me like I don't have anywhere to sit in my apartment. <laughs> he does. And I was like, well, that that probably is a problem. Mm -hmm. He does seem like he lacks direction now. What, because of no bistro? Yeah, I think that bistro might have been the centerpiece of his life. Like, that that was the centering thing in his life. He would come home, he would go straight yeah, there, he would eat. he's got Coulter now. Now he doesn't, yeah, but Coulter. I love that we have random just yak people walking around Chicago. I ran into Two Phones Brett on Saturday. No way. Oh, yeah. really? I bumped into Barstool Barstool. Yeah. Well, he stalks us. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two Phones Brett, though. It I was in my apartment. Down, Connor. Yeah, Two Phones Brett, like, he came up to me. He's like, what's up, Big Cat? And I was, I thought it was just a regular. And then he was like, it's Two Phones Brett. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, man. My bad. Connor. Hello. No. Oh, my Sign goodness. came in. <laughs> yes. Connor's Bistro, free kisses, just ask. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> Thank you so much. So do we have to? Where? Do we need to buy my bistro for this? Well, that's the napkin wall now. Oh, that is the napkin wall. Where I, I will put that up in my apartment. You could also just wear it as a. Oh, where, yeah. yeah. You're. You I'm gonna get his head in there. No, that's oh, no, no way. Not no, you probably can't get your head in there. No. No, no, wait. He's got a helmet. No, we need another yeah. string. You need a necklace to hook to the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, here, let me put that on my carabiner. What are you doing? That's not the napkin wall. That's the napkin. The fuck are you? Oh, no, that's me? the napkin wall. I mean, if we're gonna, you're going to do the smallest wall, you're trying to make the napkin look bigger. Yeah, you are. <laughs> are oh. you? Wait, are you gonna? Well, you got to put it out the whole way. Stephen Che really took your bistro. Like you have to unfold it all the way. So and you guys got no shot. <laughs> well, we'll see, buddy. <laughs> Titus, look at this. Turn around, and look, Titus. <laughs> look at this, Titus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah, we got to find a place for that. Okay. Or uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Bring my bistro. You want it at home? I'll put it up at my apartment. I'll send a picture. What happens when you bring a lady back? Mm -hmm. uh, I just have to ask. Kisses. Have a bistro. Yeah, it's kisses time. <laughs> yeah, that's All plural kisses. kisses. Yeah, I know. I'd All be right. down. That is, yeah, you would just, that would actually be consent right there. In a way, yeah. <laughs> well, ask. unless he doesn't ask. <laughs> well, it's kind of like, oh, this is going to sound bad, but like when we have uh, like a, an event and you put up a sign that says, if you're in the, in the vicinity, you can be filmed, like there are cameras around, it's like, Oh, free, you want, I'll, get, I'll get that sign for your house, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in this apartment, you're liable to get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah. A little crooked. A little bit. Is that bothering you? A little crooked. I mean, if we're going to display a napkin, are we displaying Does it look that big? It it's doesn't. It's not that big. It doesn't. No, it's a no. napkin. It's not that big. Yeah, you probably shouldn't put it on a wall. I mean, walls are are big. What's, what's Mook to? He's going to fix it. Thank you, Mook. Well, you're not the napkin hanger. Yeah. Yeah, you did fix it though. Thank you, Mook. Good job. That a boy. <laughs> Way to go. All right, so we got to find a nap. Everyone's got to find a napkin in the wild. Right. Should yeah. it ha does it have to be a sporting event? No, it can be anything. You can't go to like a napkin depot. Like, no, you it can't has buy to be the napkin. Yeah, it yeah. has to be organic. Just throw it in. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can we rule out any cloth <laughs> napkins? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, like Disposable a, napkin. a steakhouse, like cloth napkin, like that doesn't. Oh count. yeah, okay, no, okay, no. yeah. Paper I, napkin. I think I can find bigger. <laughs> yeah. This is now. I think. I think we did it. I think we found the most boring challenge of all time. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. Yeah. Who can find the largest napkin? <laughs> the barstool yak napkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the thing that could could get our fans least excited no 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 we will get dms <laughs> from like iowa and south dakota yeah. and vermont saying you gotta got come some see this big napkin. napkin you gotta come see this. i'll travel for a big napkin well barbecue i'm thinking should... of messy food places probably have to have big oh napkins. yeah oh yeah i know we just did the barstool film festival which the the actual film festival is going to be on friday after the yak but like we should maybe rewrite goodwill hunting like gotta go see gotta go see about a napkin <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> Someday I hope you're just not here because you found a bigger nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go make that meme right now. Okay, all right, nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. Yes. So, wait. All this. You've this seen photos of big napkins, but have you ever smelled the inside? <laughs> 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 yeah, you could go to, go to any library and read up about napkins. <laughs> this whole ordeal, Connor Griffin ended up coming out of this with... Uh, with the same bistro in his house, a new friend, mm -hmm. and he has a free kisses sign for us. Yeah, house. and we'll probably buy a bistro here. Mm -hmm. I don't want that sign in his house. I want it here. Yeah, it needs to be bistro. here. I want it over his Because that's not Connor's corner at his house. He he has all the corners. Mm -hmm. That whole apartment's his. Yeah. his. Eh, I it would be funny if he didn't. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. <laughs> not even the master. Maybe we should take me. a corner from him. Yeah. Oh, ooh. We should be like, Connor, we're going to need this corner. I would love to start buying pieces of people's apartments. Yeah. We could do what we want with them. We'll sublet one of Connor's corners, and we could put whatever we want in there. Whatever. Just one day we show up with, like, a big oil drum. <laughs> it Hang on. sounds <laughs> like a body's in there. <laughs> like just put this in the corner, Connor. <laughs> Don't open it. Do not. He's not allowed to go in the corner. Yeah. Um, Can I ask what's in the big box? Oh, yeah. Ooh. So I got... I think these are just... I also have a, a smaller box, which... What? What's this? That's the the Chinese yo-yo. Oh <laughs> yeah, yo-yos. We got all of our oh, yo-yos. We're gonna prove to Brandon that he's an idiot. <sighs> yeah, no, I want to see you yo-yos like as uh, yo-yo as well as you say you can yo-yo. No, I, I'll open take this practice. Show, you open this box. Yeah, well, you know, I have to open this it's box. Heavy as fuck. Open the box. Do you have a cutter? Who's this guy? I don't know. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? He's got a sleeve. Knee sleeve. <sighs> Whoa, are you hurt? No, oh, I'm... It's, it's over. Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> it's, over. it's over. It's Tim McGraw, bro. I can't see anymore. I can't move. Huh. Do you know how to use these, TJ? Yep. We're going to have to have you use it. Um, what are you doing? What's going on? Huh? Okay. Very thickly wrapped. All right, someone do, uh, someone do the DraftKings read while we open some shit. DraftKings, the 82-game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the play-in tournament through the finals, from every opening tip to every buzzer beater, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with the same-game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. And if you're new to this whole sports betting thing, it's super easy to get started. Try betting on something simple like a team to win. Go to the app, select your team, and place your first bet. It's that simple. Tonight in the NBA, we've got Magic vs. Cavs, 76ers vs. Knicks, and Lakers vs. Nuggets. Please do not... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Here's something else to sweeten the deal to all new customers. Bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Whoa. New customers, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code YAK. That's code YAK to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5 only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Okay, I got my yo-yo. Lift it. Is it is it heavy, Brando? Yeah. What do you think it is? Do you have any guesses? Um, I actually don't know. Oh, you don't know either? I, I it's something I probably bought on Amazon. That's usually Brandon. How it your goes. fingers are touching the blades. Uh -huh. I forget what I bought, and then I'm a man though. Yeah, you are. Oh. What? I know what that is. You can tell by that cursive. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's apple juice. Yeah. What? It's a lot of apple juice. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just bought a lot of apple juice. <laughs> Let's swig. Look at this. Why? Are, um, it was just on my like. Uh, do you want to also purchase this? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, that's the best kind. Martinelli. Yeah, six yeah. cases of apple juice. Oh shit. That's the Rolls Royce of apple juice. I bought it. I was like, we'll figure out something to do. So we should do an apple juice. They'll give you like yeah. diarrhea, right? Oh, big time. Really? Apple yeah. juice. And apple juice after I quit smoking. Big. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I was. Go ahead. Sometimes I'd smoke a cigarette to help me take a shit. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and I know, I know. Well, women be constipated. They do. Yeah. And then apple juice became my new. Your new cigarette. Yeah. What if you did apple juice and a cigarette? Oh, oh I've done oh. it. Whoa! Oh. You can't deny that it looks. Oh, he's he's making it. He's, he's walk making the dog. Walk it. Walk it. Well, he's accomplished nothing so far, guys. But yeah, but yo-yoing is cool. Walking around doing that. Yo-yoing. Is not cool. Oh, There's nothing cool no. about yo-yoing. Uh, I think it's very cool. What about the guy who yo-yos and says he's going to kick everybody's ass? That guy's really cool. That guy's oh, yeah. Who, who's that? 
He's a, one of the fellas, and he's genuinely he awesome. A, he yo-yoed? I thought he was just... Doesn't he throw a yo-yo down? He's like, I'm going to come for you. And I thought, oh, I'm going to kick uh, your ass. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't yo-yo, did he? No. Nah, yeah, he yo-yoed. Didn't he, he? Yeah, he would yo-yo and say, I'm going to kick your ass. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> they, yeah. thought, they thought it was me. What's his name? I forget. I don't know, but he was awesome. Didn't he, yeah, he, didn't he do a video for you that he was going to kick no, your ass? No, he DM'd me, and he said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been afraid ever since. Yeah. I don't remember. Matthias? Yeah. Donnie uh, Matthias. Yes. Look at that. That's cool looking. This is one of those things that you maybe joke about, but it c becomes a little addicting. Like Hacky Sack, when you guys got into Hacky Sack. Oh, oh there it oh is. My oh, my God. There oh, it is. Cradle. There it is. Oh. Holy shit. You didn't do anything. Holy shit. Oh. He just didn't land Holy it. Holy shit. I maybe can't yo-yo. Uh. Can you yo-yo? You said you could yo-yo. Yeah. yo-yo. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. He pooped. Oh, yeah, Johnny. Don't Matthews. litter. <laughs> oh, see, I need I'm one of those, though. That. That's the that's a brain. Thing. That's what it is? That Yeah, I think it has a brain in there. <laughs> All right, I got to get a brain yo-yo. Go middle finger? I went middle, but then I switched to uh, index. I don't know. I Maybe I can't yo-yo. I bet Chicago has Yo-Yo Club. You think? Is that still a mm. thing? Yo-Yo with brain? Hit it. Oh. Oh, shit. Is there... You... Oh, nice. Is that spinner? <laughs> I don't think it's a spinner. I think I got the wrong Yo-Yo. All right. What is that camera? I'll get a different Yo-Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I got two more Yo-Yos coming. Your arms are filling it out nicely. That's got to feel good. Yeah. Well, he made small holes. Listen. Sorry. I didn't hear what he said. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Is Roan available? Well, the messages aren't sending. You might be on a plane. Oh, I think he shit. is on a flight, yeah. Damn. I really want to ask him some follow-up questions, like how much of the rest of the night was about the napkin? Almost certainly all of it, right? Could you even watch the game, or was it just all napkin? Steven, I guess you could answer this. Uh, it wasn't that much about that. The video that someone took was uh, we posted one game time video and then we were doing a second. So I was taping it about the napkin. When did you discover the napkin? Half First time. quarter, second? Half, Half time. time. So you were obstructing people's views with that giant ass napkin? Potentially for a couple of moments, yes. When did you discover it? was during a timeout. Was during when a timeout. did you discover it was huge? Instantly. <laughs> I came upon it and knew it had to be photographed the more i look at it the more normal sized it looks yeah mm -hmm. it's a regular napkin regular nap this yeah that's a napkin that's a napkin maybe an inch bigger on all sides than a regular napkin can we grab or do we have any just napkins in the front yeah the one i brought out there that was the package no, that was, oh, that was, you, oh, did, I, I you knew what you like were doing restaurant we quality napkins bathroom nap not napkins what are they bathroom how paper, paper towels, towels yeah. What? yeah what Are you wiping your face with toilet paper? <laughs> no. <laughs> you think of them napkins in the in the, the bathroom. paper towels. They the come paper in those towel little dispenser. rolls. Yeah, the brown the brown paper towels. Oh, the towels. brown ones. That's the yeah, furthest yeah. thing from napkin. You yeah, that's not the face. furthest thing from no, napkin. So a shoe cool. is that, further a, away than No, that's paper the towel. exact opposite of napkin. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Actually that, a shoe I would use as a napkin uh, before that. A paper towel is not the furthest thing. What about a rattlesnake? Closer to napkin. What about what about a blimp? I, oh, that's well, actually that's, a, that's, that's a huge napkin. That's almost the, that's the cousin of the napkin. What about, yeah. what about an F5 hurricane? Ooh. What's that? What, F5 tornado. What would you clean up water with? Yeah. But I think there are more opposite things that, of a napkin than a paper towel. That's <laughs> it's all almost exact. It's yin and yang. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you, you were wrong on that one. It's okay. What's the winner get of the biggest napkin? They get to keep all the napkins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want Yeah, it's one of those challenges we're going to do, and then when we finish it, we're just like, okay. We almost came super, or we did come super close to winning the 50-50. Yeah. Like, I, I owe you money, $84 yeah. off. 84 numbers? Uh, oh, 41 numbers. Oh. oh 42 God. numbers off. Damn. Fuck. You okay, Tom? What's the most you've ever spent at, like, a Cubs game? Uh, 500. Okay. The Toledo game that we went to, I that was a lot. I had 18% of the pot. <laughs> that was bad. For as much money as it takes to get 18% of the pot, 18% is not that much. I know. 
I didn't. It didn't really register. Yeah. Like I once, I, I. You guys ever play like scratch offs? Ever have like a little like, hey, I'm I'm gonna try to win these. I'll buy them like a phase. Yeah. Oh, we had a week once. I once, it? yeah, in my head, thought there's got to be a winner in every roll. Like there's got to have at least one you big were- winner in every roll. So I just bought oh. like I just st- stayed there and bought the entire roll. But turns out that's not true because the house always wins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you had just a. Oh, <laughs> I was like, how much? Somewhere in this roll will be like a ten grand scratch ticket. Yeah, not true. How did you not scratch true. it all off? I just stood there and just scratched and just forever. Yeah. Can they just scan them without you scratching? Yeah, you can. But that what's the fun? Yeah, yeah that's boring. What's the fun? Um. I have a I have a I have a bet I made with some friends that I want to share but I I don't want to be judged. Okay. This you're safe here. But no, I think the audience, I don't want the audience to judge me. I think the audience will judge me and I don't I will, I'm not going to do uh, it. Let's cut the mics and put then a poll, get up, have a reaction. Put a poll up and 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 say we'll we'll say do you promise not to judge and yes and no and if it's yes by 75% I'll say it. I kind of want to test the audience if there's more than 10 yeses. We won't do it at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Because it's one of those ones that people are like, oh, that's such a dick thing. Now it's, it is on the surface, but it's not mm-hmm. when I explain it. But I don't want to, I, I just don't feel like it's Monday. I don't feel like being judged. So it's like 300 votes if there's 10 yes, yeses. Yes, then I will not be sharing the story. Oh, my no, God. No, but you want them to say yes. No, no. Will I, will you? Do you, you promise ju- not to judge? Yeah. Oh, oh, not to judge. All right, you promise not to judge. All yeses. All yeses. So if we have more than 10 no's, I will not be sharing it. Will you at least carry one of us like into a corner and share it? Yeah, I can tell you guys. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we'll cut the mics and then you'll share it and we'll only get our reaction. Yeah. Oh, I can, you know what I'll do? If the, if we get more than 10 yes, 10 no, 10, 10 yes. No. You want no. We've already don't confused want yeah. so much. Ten nose. Oh. Is, it's, it's, how are you phrasing it, TJ? Do you promise not to judge? Judge. Yes. yes. So we need, if there's more than 10 no's, I will not share it. And if there's more than 10 no's, Brandon, I will go and tell you it, and then you can. Oh. Oh, oh, we're all, oh, uh, oh, oh, dickheads, uh, dickheads. <laughs> oh, my you God. motherfuckers. Oh my right, God. Well, so yeah. you just robbed yourselves of a good story. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's an incredible bet. <laughs> oh, my God. It's 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 actually a That's bet awful. that would have been incredible for the yak. My yak brain was on when I went to What a bunch of pieces of shit. <laughs> was, I try it. again? <laughs> try again, TJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you think it's, it's going to be? It went over by seven, by seven times. Yeah, they don't want it. They don't want it. They're going to judge the fuck out of you. They want more napkin talk. What's the closest we could get to unanimous? Like, we don't do a case race until it's yeah. um, uh, 100 yeses? Huh. You want me to go tell it to you? Yeah. We'll give him one more chance to vote. Okay. One more chance. Yeah, I think I'm hooked on this. Yeah. Just tr- I kind of I mean, like his idea of just taking the mics off and telling us all the mm-hmm. same. Well, then, but then the... It's long enough that it would kind of suck. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's what they're choosing right now. They're though. choosing True. silence. True. Speaking of case races, Roan is going to be back on Thursday, and it's his birthday. And Brandon's birthday was just two weeks ago. Oh, so we have the NFL draft show that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the I'm not saying do a case Friday. race then, but maybe a special. We need to do one. Something. We need to do one. It's been too long. Been Can we record? Too- We've done so many before. Why don't we act like we, we don't know how to put them together? Because this is a doozy of one with the, the Royal Rumble. Well, let's just do a normal one, and then we can build up to that one. Okay. Let's just do the Royal Rumble. Do you for real promise not to judge? Okay. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 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 <Fucking assholes. laughs> God damn it. How's yes got 115%? All right, Brandon, I'll go tell you. Come on. All right. See you all in a minute. We'll sit here in silence. Okay. Have fun. Hmm. What can we get close to unanimous? Titus cock pick? That would, yeah. I would I would put out a cock pick if the entire audience votes the same way. Okay. Yeah. Yes, if there's yes. one vote. One vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One vote for no. Yeah, do you want to see a cockpit for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one no, bare, then we- bare hard cockpit. Uh, his face will be in it. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the photo, not the cock. Uh, uh, but, yeah. It has to be 100% all. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is. 
<laughs> yeah, throw that up, Teej. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think there's a chance? Yeah, it yeah, just yeah. zooms up green. I feel like there really is. I feel like a bear hard cock. Bear hard cock. But with the tr- the recycling can on still. Tightest cock has beautiful. to be beautiful. <laughs> Oh. No! Oh, 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 that's oh, scary oh, close. Oh, oh. That was crazy. I was gonna do it too. <laughs> I was. Look, oh, you would have had to, you know. Yeah. Oh my god, that's way better than. Yeah, the secret tightest cockpit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, that's a funny clip. That's yes. a funny graphic. <laughs> Thirty-four. Those people are not. Those people need ostracized from society. Mm. Imagine if Kyle found out that Titus was putting out a cockpit. Oh, he'd fly home. Yeah. <laughs> he'd fucking get on a flight yeah. right now. I'm sad Kyle's not here. I I had wrestling questions for him. Oh, I started yeah? watching uh, a little bit of the wrestling thing. How was it? Um, it was wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, it was just wrestling. Mm-hmm. But, Uh-oh. Um, oh, here we go. He got me to watch. Brandon, tell me. Uh, Open up the top of the can. I, well, Brandon, explain, explain the, like that it. It's 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 a friend's bet, and it's a great bet with 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 your homies. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That in inside your cir- circle of friends, you are going to dive into something and put one friend in a socially awkward spot. Oh, incredibly awkward, and yeah. then the, but then the audience is going to judge me for for um for. Any the socially awkward spot you're putting in is because you're dealing with another person. That other person would be an outsider. They would have to deal with it. So then people are like that's such a dick thing to do. So I don't want to do it. But mm-hmm. there would be payment. It's, it's going to be involved incredible. later. It's going to yeah. be incredible. So we'd rectify it. Yeah. So like it has like an impractical jokers kind of vibe. Not as much. No, it's it's it, way it, more horrifically cringeworthy. Ooh, okay. It's horrifically cringeworthy. Yeah. Brandon, if oh. you were in this situation, would it break you? Yes. Would you be able yes, to do it? it would. Who yes. here, who I would, here be, would it break? Actually, he would actually you'd be broken no matter what part of the situation. The idea oh would God. break me. Yeah, the other four yeah. you if you were part of the other four, you would you would yeah. be broken as well. Yeah. I can't even imagine. And it's something you have to do <laughs> in public? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like when guys lose their mock whatever fantasy and they have to do something embarrassing? Very, very, very similar. Okay. Almost yeah. Who here would it not break? Titus would be fine. Titus. Is it a cockpit? Cockpit? Yeah. Cockpit. <laughs> no, we, we were just in here. We were trying to get a unanimous vote what? for Titus cockpit. Yeah. Pit. Yeah, bear why hard I, cock. And why why would I not? Mm-mm. Why would I not be broken? I think you could handle. You, I think you handle socially awkward better than the rest of us. Hmm. What does that mean? That, that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, you're used yeah, to it. I think you have an iron stomach with these things. Yeah. You'd be able to handle it. I want to know this. Ugh, thanks a lot. Yeah, but uh, the chat is just mean. Okay, you, you want to be mean. Yeah, I don't want to deal with it on. Can moment. I? Can, can I go? go? Okay? Fine, I'll fucking just say it. Yeah. No, 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 no. They voted. <sighs> Yaks of democracy. The, the chat doesn't deserve it right now. And just so we're clear, it's not like it's also not that big. We're like, we don't care about big cats, but it's not like a, <laughs> we're betting on a game. No, no, it's not one of them. It's something that actually would be happen on this show. It's something. It's a very yak style. It's also thing. Something you guys could take and do with your own friend groups. Yeah, but, but then, I wouldn't. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we'll move on. Let's move on. It's fine. I want to hear it now. I'll mm. tell you guys after. It's going to be fun. Okay. Mm. It's going to be tough. Should we give him one more poll? One more poll. One more shot? One more poll. What? And now I'm addicted to the... Let's I'm addicted get a to unanimous the polls poll. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. get a yeah. unanimous poll. If it's not going to be tight as cockpit. What, <laughs> so nothing can, nothing can happen to, to get a unanimous? There's always going to be one... I have, something I I have an idea, but one I don't want to say it. You're going to throw... What? What? No. We could do a poll. Do you like Mook? Yes. Or uh, no? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that would probably go unanimous. Uh, you that, could, that one fighter. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Mook, you got called out at Rough and Rowdy. Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? You could beat <laughs> that <laughs> guy up. I was like hammered at a wedding. You could like, beat that guy up. So he just walked out and said, I want to fight Kevin Connolly and Mook. And Mook. <laughs> and Mook. Yeah. And he didn't fight well? Uh, Do I have a shot or no? You uh, you could beat him because he could he didn't the guy who he's fighting said that the, he was like this guy looks like he skips leg days and then the fighter came out and he did have big muscles and then he just 
proceeded to fall constantly. He had trouble walking. He couldn't walk. His okay. legs didn't work. <laughs> right. I bet you'd be a sneaky good yeah. fighter. Yeah. Uh, I can yeah. throw. I think Mook yeah. has a rage. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah no, I, I, I said no at first because I saw him walking out. And then when I saw him fight, I was like, Mook could do this. Yeah, just based on the, the picture, the you screenshot, could I was guy. like, what the fuck? Yeah, you yeah that's scary. Oh, God. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. That, yeah, but know. he couldn't walk. <laughs> it was great. I don't know if we have a clip. Do we have any? <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> that caught me so off guard. Of him? I don't know if we put any clips out of it, but he just couldn't. He wasn't able to stand up. He just kept on falling. Yeah, I was like having fantasies in my head. I was like, if I ever had to fight, I'd go back to Philly and train with my brother like I was in Rocky. Yeah. I was like, I was like gassing myself up. Might have to do it. <laughs> Be kind of cool. Would you do steroids? Yeah, for sure. Have to. Yeah. Have to. Yeah. 100%. Get and so jacked. I think the steroids wouldn't work on me. I think I'd fuck it up somehow and just get even bigger tits. Well, you do have to work out. Ex exactly. Hard way, yeah. Yeah, you can't just do steroids. Yeah. You have to work out as well. I wish you could just do them. I know. Yeah. You just, it, yeah, you just like inject something and then you're just jacked. Can't you now? No, I don't think so. I think you still have to probably put in a little work. You look so miserable, Titus. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> the edges are so sharp. Yeah. They're so sharp. Bad idea. Take it off. Thanks, man. <laughs> You need help getting out of that. Yeah, I mean that. What What does it matter if you take it off? It's just It's just the Earth. Yeah. It's not do like, a poll. <laughs> not like, yeah, we have pull. other planets we can live on. Yeah. Do a poll. Do a poll. Should he take it off? This one might go unanimous. It might. Yeah. <laughs> if it's yeah, this could be unanimous. <laughs> I am addicted to the polls. If it's unanimous, you have to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if cockpit didn't go unanimous. That nothing will. That's true. Oh. Bear hard. Bear. What else would it be if it wasn't bear? Condomed? Sleeve? Bear means no pubes. Yeah, bear means no pubes. Okay. Yeah. Really? <laughs> B-A-R-E. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. bear. Bear is just Joey Camas. B-E-A-R be a lot of pubes? means a lot of pubes, yeah. B-E-A-R. So it could be bear or bear. Oh, that's uh -huh. confusing. Yeah. Oh. It's tough. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's never going to work. Okay, damn. Damn. There will never There's be. There's just unanimous. some. There, the, uh, our Chad's just a bunch of. I'm having trouble with the percentages. They're a bunch, bunch of uh, rascals. Mm. Yeah, what are. That's what they are. They're rascals. <laughs> I like it. They're rascals. Bunch of class clowns. Yeah. Stu's eulogy. Oh, oh we should man. Talk about it. Can we play some of it? It Incredible. was. Incredible. It was Stu Finer. Like, it wasn't shocking whatsoever. Yeah. It was still shocking. Was it, though? <laughs> I feel like it was exactly what I expected. If there was ever a time that he was not going to be Stu Finer. No, I don't think he can. It's just that it's not in his back. No. No. This is, by the way, for context, this is his father's eulogy. His father just passed last week, which we I talked to Stu on the phone. We're going to do uh, a Howie Finer remembrance episode when Stu mm, comes out yeah. next. He's going to get a bunch of pictures, tell some stories. I love it. So it'll be yeah. great. He all, I also called Stu... I think he passed on Wednesday night. I called him on Thursday just to send my condolences. And then I was just on the phone for 20 minutes with Stu, him talking about his son's businesses. Yeah. It was like maybe 30 seconds about his dad, and then it was just boom. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Son's businesses. We okay. should uh, sit Shiva on here one day. For Stu's dad. Yeah. Yeah. He should, when, when he comes, when he's here next, we're going to do it. All right. So this is his eulogy to his father. From the time I was in 11th grade. When I took my wife to the prom, everything I touched turned to gold. You know, I thank my wife for you know being there with me all the all the days, even up until now. You know, you know, like I'm looking to throw a party, snort coke for the next three days. You know, <laughs> fucking have a pod, fucking the backyard. <laughs> you blow me in the black bathroom, honey. <laughs> you know, the out of the house. They used to have snort coke and have sex in. You know, that's how I live. <laughs> <laughs> he just was like he was on one path and he just like clicked he's like wait i'm Stu fine I'm yeah <laughs> i gotta make sure that i i explain to people what i am unbelievable yeah and his dad was a great guy he, he came around a lot great guy so yeah this uh, how we find our remembrance episode is gonna be great i'm sure there's a lot of stories i wonder if 
Uh, he probably. He, I think they buried him. I was gonna say we we yeah, are in the yeah, ashes. No, we can't. Can't Sweet get like a piece of him, maybe, right? I I only want ashes of strangers. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, is well, Blutman's not a strange. Ralphie boy. We've never met him. Never met him. Yeah, like loose ties kind of thing. I'm just patting him right now. I don't think I actually. <laughs> I'm breaking character here. I don't think I want any more ashes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's, let's 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 take that that feeling. Let's exp- let's bottle it. Yeah, let, no, let's no, throw no, it in an urn. No, let's let's talk it out. Why? You know, I thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah. And then when you get it here. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm gonna agree. Like this is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. War. Is it heavy? Um, no. No. Here, you want to, I'll, throw, uh, I'll toss. No. He was, he was don't, in good don't, shape. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> So I'll give you a toss. Are, are you guys responsible? Because sometimes it just comes we in didn't like a ask, bag. By the way. But I'm saying, are you guys responsible for p- choosing the urn that it goes in? The urn's in there, I think. Oh, it already comes with. I, I still can't. You should probably get him a more badass urn. Yeah. I can't make heads or tails of this situation. <laughs> the the Blutmans, Lukey, Mark, Liam, the ones that we Is know. Is he going by Lukey? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> that's real tough. I love Luke, too. I, I mean, but Lukey Luke. is. You, you, it's, but they all it's, call it's, him it's, Lukey. Lukey is is your like nine year old right fielder. Yeah, yeah. Lukey, get out there. But we the, know you're not going to uh, catch anything. The, yeah. the blood your time. Yeah. that we know are are a tight knit group. Mm-hmm. They're 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 a good strong family. I didn't peg them as the kind that would that would send their grandfather's ashes to a podcast studio. But I respect yeah. the fuck out of them for it. Right, and I mean, what is life anyway? They're the type they're of good people laugh. where you don't even have to ask for their grandpa. <laughs> yeah, they give you the grandpa. Well, like, when's the last time? They'll give you their grandpa off their back. (laughs) They'll give you grandpa right off their back. (laughs) When's the last time you went to go see your grandparents' remains? You know? Mine aren't as portable. go (laughs) Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Those are very stationary. I was going to say, some people are like, all right. Calvin's been dead for 20 years, though. Uh, Your grandpa's name was Calvin? Calvin. That rocks. Yeah, yeah. He was high-ranking official. Calvin Walker. Huh? Calvin Walker. Yeah, that that was my grandfather. What if we Googled that? That's a black man's name. <laughs> well, or the boy that's peeing. Or the pissing that's boy. That's a great name. It's black or pissing. <laughs> yeah. Um No, he was a uh he was a law he was law enforcement. Uh oh. <laughs> what law did they uphold? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, he was well, I'll say law. He was a game and fish warden. Oh. Yeah. So he would uh bust you up if you had too many fish in your that, boat that was my first memory of going up and down the roads with him in his in his game and fish truck i do think he treated people like pure crap um <laughs> but uh yeah that was him that's not yeah that's him. That is. That is. That was oh, not my <laughs> yeah, all right you caught a fish brandon I caught four fish yesterday. Yeah. What? I caught four fish. Yeah. The fishing. Same one each time? The fishing has commenced. Do you no. have photos of No, 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 no. Fish? I caught three small bass, one average size crappie, but I hung a good one. I had a good one. I had a good one right there. Bigger the, than the napkin? I had a big one at the boat. and, and he, Oh, these I, are all the Calvin Walkers. <laughs> yeah. There's kind of there's a white Calvin Walker. In the <laughs> I don't think uh, so. I don't think so. Oh, I don't Brandon. think so. <laughs> Oh, hey. oh. Hey. there he is, Grandpa Calvin Walker. Intern. Oh, there he is, Calvin Walker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is this our next yak athlete? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Alabama. He's from. Oh, okay. Ooh. Do you have pictures of fish? No, because they were they were tiny, and I was out by myself. Oh, I just I wanted to see the tiny, tiny. You never tiny caught any. Fish. As soon as I get home today, I'm going fishing, so I might have a picture for you. So. Ah. Mm. Uh, Somebody somebody got in the DMs and gave me the right bait suggestions. I didn't know what baits to use, and they were, oh, they were right, they were right. I hit four of them. What yesterday. was the bait? Just a little swimming swimming minnow, mm-hmm. just a little swimmer. Minnow, little minnow, little minnow with a tail that just it just flutters in the wind. Oh, that's or, or the water, not the wind. Mm-hmm. I like what you're doing with that. Yeah, it just flutters. And Is then, it art of fisherman? Uh, art of fisherman. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. How's he been? Um. I actually hadn't talked to him. I think he. I Uh-oh. hope he's not mad because I took you to Mater's. He might be. Me and him were planning a Mater's trip very soon, and, and we just we just accidentally went there. I know. Uh, but I, I'll have to talk to him. Will you so. snag me a cuckoo clock from there? From where, Mater's? Yes. Yeah. That would be very funny if he was mad that you went to Mater's without him. 
and not about us calling him small dick. I'm gonna. Have you mentioned that to him? Like giving him a slight heads up? Small dick? No. I. I but I am gonna tell him right now that we went to Mater's without him. Oh uh, no. Because I did take a picture of my pork shank. Oh. It was a big pork shank, and yeah. it fell apart. Yeah. Oh, it just fell off the bone. I feel like you got to tell him the small dick thing because if you hear that, if he hears that from someone else, oh, he'll else, be fine. He'll be fine about that. Um. Oh, don't be mad. You, you guys send emojis to each other. <laughs> no, well, there's no emojis yeah. in here. I Where's an emoji? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what emoji? Crying smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Art, you emoji- cracked me up. Sky. Uh, he emojied me. I didn't emoji him. Is your phone on magnified? You a magnified guy? No. Oh, the big text? Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, oh. no. Is your vision worse? It don't, I don't want to talk about it. Um... Yeah, well, just that one emoji though. Most of it is links to to fishing batteries. Titus, you could take it off. Thank you. <laughs> I I feel like we just don't have Titus on this show. No. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Take it off. Oof. We we just didn't have Titus on this entire show. How much does it suck? That sucks. That was your worst idea. Cycling. Well, well I actually, it. well, here's what we should do: is we should spin the wheel. Someone's got to put it on. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I tested it wearing. for like 30 seconds last night, and I was like, "Oh, this isn't so bad." And you sit down, and yeah, uh, uh, this is. I could feel how uncomfortable is you were. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right. Spin the wheel, TJ. Someone's got to put it on. The fire department would have to cut Brandon out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you get too big for a bin. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Back on. And it's been fun. <laughs> you know what, TJ? Every ten minutes, Aww. spin the wheel. Yeah. Every ten minutes. Well, <laughs> that was so goes. perfect. Uh, <laughs> I would love to see Gauntlet in it. Oh. oh. I don't know if it's possible. Do you think you can hit a three in that? What happened? Can you hit a three in that? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know he could do the soccer. He probably do the bags. Football, baseball, tough. Baseball would be tough. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to have to do a gauntlet. We might just have to. <laughs> it looks so funny. The three might be the toughest though. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, you fun. can hit a three. You know he's gonna. I don't think so. He's gonna hit it. <laughs> you can't see really. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. No, no, he can't. It can't do be it. done. He's got I that mantle. Yeah. Underhand? I think he can do it. Uh, oh, no. Oh, you suck at shooting, <laughs> dude. Oh. I made 45 this morning, but can't. 45 I, in I a can't row? 45 out of 78 on the machine. Oh. Oh, he's, uh, got it. he's got it now. That's got to hurt so bad. He's got it now. Uh, TJ, do you, you have a timer for 10 minutes? We'll spin it and someone else can get in it. Or Titus keeps spinning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. There, yeah. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so small. Yeah, I don't know if. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll Would have you to. Would you beat do, Jeff D. Lowe? I don't know if I can get in that. In a half hour, we'll have to do no. a gauntlet. Because he's, he's narrow. He's a narrow guy, but he's filling that thing out. No, his arms are screaming. Big Cat, I don't think me or you either can get in that. Well, uh, don't put the me arms are, you, The arms are small. Mincy would get stuck. Hundred percent. Yeah. Can we trick Mincy? No, his body's kind of like a cat. I feel like he can. Mincy? By the way, squeeze into did weird. We, I went on vacation. You didn't put anybody in a balloon while I was on vacation, did you? No. Did we abandon that? Yeah, no, we we've put a pause to it. We've actually, I specifically said we will not abandon it forever. We hmm. just need to get. Someone was saying a, a air compressor. Yeah. Yeah. Air compressor. Okay. Yeah, blower is the worst tool to use for that. We just got to spread out all these purchases of Home Depot where it's like, what are you doing? They don't think we're yeah. planning yeah. something. Are we planning something? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Want to plan something? We got all the stuff. To plan something? I don't know. Are, is somebody doing a gauntlet? Why is Trey getting that ready? Yeah, we're going to do one in, in like 20 minutes. Whoever ends up on that. Well, let's spin, let's spin two more times to see who goes. Let's keep yakking. We'll spin two more times. Whoever ends up with it the second time wants we'll to do a gauntlet in it. All right. I'm going to pee. I think that's fair. You're going to pee? Yeah, I'm going to go pee. Okay, I'm going to do too. an ad real quick. About Steven Singers. Mother's Day is coming up. The moms in our lives put up with a lot. Sure, some of us are angels, but others not so much. 
Toast to mom for all her hard work with Stephen's brand new 24 karat gold dipped rose in red wine. This deep, rich, burgundy color rose will go perfectly with the glass of wine she surely deserves. Stephen's famous 24 karat gold dipped roses are real roses preserved and dipped in pure 24 karat gold. Guaranteed to last a lifetime. Make Mother's Day extra special with a gift she'll love and appreciate every single day. A luxurious red wine, 24 karat gold dipped rose for just $69. Check out Steven Singer's entire collection of gold dipped roses at IHateStevenSinger.com. Free shipping, free personalized gift message from you, and free lifetime guarantee exclusively and only at IHateStevenSinger.com. What else did Steven have to say today? Springtime too short. It feels like spring is like two weeks. I feel oh. like it feels like forever. Yeah, it's been a nice spring. Yeah. Had a great spring. There's nothing better. I actually think my perfect temperature is like 61 degrees and sunny. Yeah, sweatshirt where you just get warm when you're walking around. If you're in the sun, you can take it off. If not, that's nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Can we do a Jello draft? Oh, okay. J E L L and an ingredient that makes you go oh. Oh, and then it's in a mold. It's in a Jello mold. So everybody has to bring. Yes, it in. you might have to pre-record it. Yes. So it's like you know already made. Yeah. Can one of the things be an alcohol like Jello shots? Sure. Yeah. Well, you could put up whatever in the mold. J E L L and it, so f- five items. I love that. Yeah, we got to do. A and then we'd that. freeze them overnight. Yeah. Next next episode, start by eating the the molds. I love that. We should do that. I ate so much Jello growing up, and I, I never make it. Now. I never see it. I ate Jello nonstop. Kate. What even yeah. is Jello? Is it bone marrow? I, I think it was there's like bone pig. marrow in it. Pea? It's Isn't it like pig? There's some, oh, there's pig. some type of pig in it. Well, I thought it was like horse. It's not something. vegan. I know that. I think yeah. it, I think it's like bone marrow. Well, how did Jello yeah. even begin? Right? Who started that? That's got to be an accidental invention. Or it's like something you know. Everything usually is like, oh well, it's like the Great Depression. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it, it, someone created it someone powdered? created Jello to being like this is what we all will eat now, and you can reliquify it. It's powdered, right? Yeah, you yeah. Take in powder, water. put it in water. And yeah, that's how you make it. Because that speaks to your point about the Great Depression. Yeah, I, think, I feel like every powdered food was like yeah. 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 My, and they're like this my, is the food of the future. We'll yeah. we'll never have to eat again. Yeah. We'll just eat this. Yep. Poor snack growing up was apple cut cut into pieces and you sprinkle Jello on it. The Jello powder. Oh, I think it's like, oh. oh. yeah, crafty. Oh. It's like one point on Weight Watchers. <laughs> Gelatin. Gelatin. Well, I feel like in the seventies they were trying to make every like here's a savory. There was a whole cookbooks for like. Oh, meat, that's also jellos. yeah. Mm. Yeah, the seventies was like the fu- this is the future of food. Oh, Brandon was telling me about his favorite salad growing up. Brandon. He's peeing. He's peeing. When when was it created, uh, TJ? When did Jello the actual company? Now is that is the name Jello, the that's, company? Yeah, is that the brand? That's the brand. It's like popsicle. Yeah. I, my mom's mom every holiday used to bring like a fancy gelatin yeah, mold that you would slice seven. it like a cake and it would have like fruit and all kinds the of layers, stuff and layers. Everything. Yeah. It needs to come back. 1897. Damn. Old. I've been eating jello for a long ass time. Did Cosby kill it? Maybe. Mm-hmm. He killed pudding. Pudding. Sure. Jello pudding. Jello pudding pops. Yeah. I'm finding more. Look at this guy. Per- what's his name? Pearl Bixby. Wait. Pearl Bixby. Bixby, wait. 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 Who's the more weight guy? Who? The guy that was yelling more weight when he was dying. Uh, Giles Corey. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> Giles, uh, Giles Corey. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Titus. More weight. Brandon, what was the salad? <laughs> just a mean guy you are. <laughs> you just push him? Just got oh, caught. Fucking rock. What was the, you ate pear salad growing up, which was... Pears, <laughs> mayonnaise, sure and cheddar cheese. Ew. Y'all ever had pear you salad? Sure it wasn't years salad. So shut the fuck. I, did, <laughs> I didn't know if this was a southern thing or a poor thing, but I think uh, I learned it's a difference? southern poor thing. Okay. Um, pear salad. You have a pear. You you have it. You have have ha- 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 it. You own a pear? No, no. no. You have it. Have it. You and then you. You you take the half of a pear, like deviled eggs. You put mayonnaise on top of it. Ugh. You put shredded. Oh my god! We shredded have to try cheese it. on top of that, and it is fucking. And is delicious. that a is that a maraschino cherry? I remember that I, when I was four years old. I remember eating that. We didn't put cherries on ours. It's just it was just cheese, mayonnaise. I want the and cherry. Pear. Can you send that to Donnie? He'll make them for us tomorrow. <laughs> How is that a salad? 
<laughs> that, just, first of all, yeah. That's just like what it's thing. called. That's what it's called. I, I can't explain why that is good. Anything green salad. salad. It is good. <laughs> and I don't know that I ever knew it was mayonnaise. I, 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 what did you think it was? I don't know that I thought it was anything. I just ate it because it came on pear salad. <laughs> but that's not. I never considered that was what it. it. That's it. Yeah. But again, we didn't do the cheese. Wait, what's the cheese? What type just, of it could be just shredded cheddar, just shredded anything. Kinda, is that aroma tomato? Because cheese yeah, and yeah. pears go well together. Cheese and apples go good together. Cheese and apples go well together. Yeah, yeah. Hershey, no cherries. So I, I don't know. The mayonnaise so that's, is the that's, part that's That's, that's white me cheddar off. cheese, that's mayonnaise, and that's two pears. So. Oh, and the lettuce uh-huh. is just for garnish. <laughs> yeah. So salad. The lettuce is not part salad. of it. Salad was just a lettuce plate. The lettuce is not uh, yeah. not for it at all. Yeah, but I, I, I can't explain it. You and your wife were saying how much you loved them. They're good, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had one in probably 20 years. All right, we're going to have one tomorrow. Do you think it holds up? Oh, is this going to ruin it for I, you? I, I can, I, I, the taste in my mouth, I, I, it's coming back to me now. No, it's going to be great. I feel like, you know how there Yawn used ass. to be like payola where they would, like a record and the company would pay the radio stations to play it? Yeah. I feel like things like Big Mayonnaise back in the day would pay cookbooks, like put this crazy recipe No, but I, so I think use I, mayonnaise Mayo and everything. is in everything. I think yeah. it's a depression era thing in the South. It all circles back. Uh, yeah. Well, like I, I think it's just that like, they would just take whatever they had and make these. these Scrap Jello snack. Let's all bring in a depression era meal. <laughs> I, I got it. Let's do depression day. Yeah. Yeah, we're not talking about when you're depressed. Move we're talking about okay. the Great Depression. <laughs> he was, yeah. he had it. I got both. I know he was. <laughs> Ooh. Let's all get a signed one. We'll make it and bring it into a depression pot. There's another depression thing down there is is dough burgers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dough burgers. Oh, I hate that. Dough burgers, which okay. is a little bit of meat and a little bit of dough mixed to make a burger. So wait, the ground meat is dough and meat mixed together. Is that what it's called? Slug slug burgers. Slug burgers. Slug burgers. Slug burgers. <laughs> It's called a slug burger. But it's got just a tiny bit of meat? Wait, a I'm, not, I'm not following this. And something else. It's called a slug burger. It's a little bit of meat and a little bit of dough, I think, that make a, make a slug burger. <sighs> Can you look that up, TJ? Slug oh. burger? I don't think I'm making that up. Nick, why didn't you ever tell me about Mr. B's? Chips? Oh, I never had them. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, they're just, yeah. It's yeah I had them. They're Mississippi West slug burger. There you go. Oh. Yeah. So that's just a hamburger. <laughs> no, a no, it's not. That's not a lot of meat in there. <laughs> That's a hamburger. That's not. That's a Mississippi. It's literally slug a hamburger. <laughs> One pound of ground chuck. Yeah. That's a. That's there's a hamburger. stuff in there to. I don't know where where it is to make make the. Uh, well, the, my dad always put cornflakes in our burgers. Is that what? Is that where we? Eat there you go. They're, they're just putting breadcrumbs and stuff in there to yeah, make yeah. it to, to fill out burgers. the meat. To fill out the meat. Mm. Oh, we always did that. So the meat good. goes further. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's to save meat, save on meat. You I think that would taste really good. Yeah, again, yeah. that's they just are a good. hamburger. They are that's, good. Again, that's not just a hamburger. But it tastes probably exactly like a hamburger. Yeah, probably. That's what you do with like a meatball is you add like bread. Yeah. 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 yeah, your meatball Fine. burgers. TJ, can you look up like the craziest Depression era meals? I like the name Slug Burger. I, yeah. I do too. I was hoping it would yeah. be yeah. gross. There's a guy on TikTok that does like Depression era sandwiches from like cookbooks from back then. And some oh. of them are just like an onion with some grape jelly on <laughs> a cracker. And yeah. that's a sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we want to make. My grandma's was a tomato sandwich on white bread. Oh, that's mayo. that's oh, not that's, that's a now era thing down well, south. Oh yeah, she would she had a, she yeah. grew her own tomato. White bread, we tomatoes, and mayonnaise. I so, would dip onions in seasoning salt. Time time for someone to get in this. Oh here we go. Oh, God damn it, the wheel has the ability to do the funniest thing uh-huh. right now. Wait, you might want to keep it on. No, no, no. He needs to take it off. So, oh, he, he oh might. my. Oh. <gasps> uh oh, buddy. Uh-oh. Keep going. Oh. Oh, oh no. Mook, get on in there. <laughs> Titus, welcome back. Was you, Mook? Welcome oh. back, Titus. And so, whoever has it on by the end of the yak has to run the gauntlet. Over. Yeah, this actually <laughs> will make me claustrophobic. Uh-huh. I don't know. I... You oh, might. Oh. The arms are. The arms are small. I will say. Yeah, the arms feel like they should have been. Mook, you look kind of cool, yeah. dude. Yeah, I fuck. I, I kind of fuck with this. This is nice. Grandma Bruins pie. pie. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, creamy chip beef. Oh, we too. had that growing up too, all the time. Meat and potato patties. There okay. You go. Yeah, I had that. These aren't these aren't bad enough. Maybe yeah. beans. Oh, that's that's just a soup. Look up. There's an Instagram account, '70s Dinner Party, uh, that has like the kind of gelatin mold. Yeah. Heinous. Oh, what was that last one? Spaghetti want, with bacon. I want really bad, yeah, depression mm-hmm. meals. Oh, that's, that's just good. good. That's oh. at a wedding, yeah. Find the depression sandwich guy. What is his name? Mook? 
Is it the Great Depression or just food he makes when he's depressed? <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah, every every meal's a depression meal for Moop. <laughs> yeah. It's been orange chicken recently. Okay. And to express. Pretty good. Chow mein. Makes me feel worse. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Isn't it crazy that like the Great Depression just changed an entire generation of people's like like I remember my grandmother used to she would just never she would always uh reuse tinfoil forever. Mm. Like it was oh, like yeah. she had one thing of tinfoil and that was it. So she would never she would if she unwrapped it she would just use it for the next thing and next thing and bags. So, yeah, bags. Mm. Yep. My my other grandmother used to like when we'd go out to like a diner or something would get would just take all of the like sugar and like put it like stuff it in her bag. Yep, freebies. Yeah. Oh, we got like, a freebie stocking this. every Christmas. Like, when are you going to use this? <laughs> a bath at grandma she would fill it up this much. Yes. Yeah. My, uh, my dick my boy dick wouldn't even get wet. <laughs> It's crazy to think about. Yeah. Just oh, did you have to turn the lights off? Uh, well, my my grandfather wouldn't keep the VCR on at night. <laughs> no way. No. Uh, he wouldn't keep electronics plugged in at night. He would he would undo it all. Unpluggable. Yeah. yeah. That's this is when my mom's mom passed. She had like wasn't a hoarder like super neat, but like had uh, a lot of things. Like a hoarder. No, but they couldn't just like get rid of it because she had hidden money everywhere. Yeah. Like little bits here and there. I feel like that generation did a ton of, which now I'm looking online. I think Jerry's right. It sounds like people should start doing that again. Yeah. Uh oh. It's like it's coming. Uh-oh. Yeah. They, they, yeah. R- m- that, uh, if it was coming, they wouldn't tell us. I, well, there's rumblings. Start hiding your money in the house. My, uh, my wife's like great uncle, he passed away. He lived in like, uh, m- like maybe 600 square foot house, like terror, like just, Lived in his whole life, passed away, and he had like three million dollars in the bank. Oh, what? It was just like what? How? Yeah. He never took trips, never did anything. He's just scared that like something bad would happen. Damn. Huh. Yeah, the bunch of Jerry's walking around. By the way, Jer- speaking of which, I need an, a clarification on a Jerry tweet. Uh oh, what did he tweet? Mm. Uh, let me get him in here. You guys didn't see this? Well, might have. Might have. Nick, do the high noon ad. Yeah. High noon. Bring the Fiesta anywhere you go with the all-new high noon tequila seltzer Fiesta pack. This variety eight-pack features two new tequila flavors, blood orange and prickly pear, alongside two tequila favorites, grapefruit and lime. All are made with real tequila and real juice, perfect for any fiesta. Find the High Noon Tequila Seltzer Fiesta Pack nearest you at HighNoonSpirits.com. High Noon, sun's up. Mm-mm. I had a few of those this weekend. Yeah. On the roof. I got something. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Went to a wedding this uh-huh. weekend. You look sure. good, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. you. Clean up nice. How you feeling? Uh, not feeling great. Um, th- this is not helping at all. Um, was in the wedding. Sure. Um... And I had to book my flight home. I had to book it home early because everything else was like connecting or like an extra 500 bucks. So my flight home on Sunday was at 5 a.m. Oh. So I went to the airport. I didn't feel like putting my tuxedo back in like the hangar and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. So I put my, I wore the tuxedo on the plane. Okay. Went to the airport, like blacked out. That's what, a time good look. You, what time did you leave the wedding? Uh, we were done like 3 a.m. Like after so you went right to the airport directly to the airport. Ooh. Wow. Was had to go through security three times through the scanner because I kept on having pieces. Or I was just metal? like, I had no idea what I was doing. I was I was like pumped to be in the tuxedo. It was like fun. Like people were like, you would feel really cool in the airport. With, yeah, for sure. Then I woke up in Chicago. Everyone's off the plane. It's just me. The oh no! Flight attendants were like, "Dude, are you what's what's going on with you?" Walking through, I get him. I you guys know. So you slept through the entire deboarding process. The entire deboarding. Holy shit! And I get embarrassed a lot. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Walking through. What's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you last week? <laughs> or is it this story? This story. Okay. Made me feel right, worse right. than last week. Walking through a busy, like packed Chicago airport in a tuxedo. Might have been the most shame I've ever felt in my life. Really? I felt like the biggest asshole. Why? I don't know, dude. A tuxedo Why? after a party kind of looks cool. You're like kind of James Bond. Yeah. I don't look good in a tuxedo. You look fine. You look cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, you look yeah. cool. You felt bad about yourself? I would feel Yeah, I no, that's not the the, no. the most embarrassing thing that happened to you last week. No. no. <laughs> I'm going to strike that yeah. one. 
I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about, but um, oh, it was the time on the yak where that girl came on. Yeah, that that would be oh. it. Has she reached out to you? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you already, have I you remember her. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no follow ups. No. None. Uh, no. Damn. You got to go to her office. <laughs> like this? I think so. Okay. <laughs> let's day. let's recircle this back around. Cycle it back around. Yeah. Hey, I'm here to take we out try. the trash. If hmm. somebody's getting on a plane in a tuxedo, I'm expecting them to sit in first class. Uh-huh. I was in the exit row. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. The first class of... That's... Nah. That's my first. The first class yeah. of the rest of the plane. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not bad to walk through an airport in a tuxedo. No, I, I mean, not. I was like hungover. Like, I felt like shit. I was you like... You had that little wilted flower on you? Yeah, the, the boutonniere was dying actively. I don't know. I just felt like the biggest dickhead. Well... No. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> hmm. TJ, you pull up that tweet. This was Jerry on Saturday. I have two oh, I yeah, I, I, I did. Yeah, After wait a minute. Yeah. It's hell expiring in June. Jellies are available for pickup as well, expiring within the next month. Don't want it to go to waste. Free pickup only. Whoa. What? Is he doing a weird diet? Is, are they going? I don't understand it. He's just giving away stuff that expires in two months. And why is he giving it away? Why didn't I just eat it? And pick up only. So somebody that's <laughs> odd enough to, <laughs> to, to want to get peanut your, butter that expires soon, you're going to have them at your house. I'm, I'm dying to know if someone picked it up. I bet you yes. You think so? F- free Somebody pickup? would have taken the opportunity to meet Jerry, right? Yeah. Like a fan. Yeah. But you can put peanut butter in your pantry forever. 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 So how long has he had that peanut butter? Yeah, I guess I never thought about that. I've never had bad peanut butter. No, I've never. I've never once opened peanut butter and been like, oh, "No, this is spoiled. Oh, I gotta throw right. it out." And you never looked in your pantry and seen the old peanut butter. Like, Ugh. Yeah, Jerry, did anyone pick up the peanut butter? Uh, I'm gonna give it to a fireman. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, he said his firehouse could use it. Why can't you use it? Uh, because it's a month away. Peanut butter doesn't go bad. Also, that's plenty of time to eat peanut butter? No, it's not. They're two massive tubs, and I have jellies and Nutella. How, how am I going to go through that? We already have <laughs> two of them open already. How did why did, how and why did you get them in the first place? Well, what I did was, I don't really want to put all my business out there, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't want to put my business out there, but when I lived in New Jersey... <laughs> How do I say this without putting my business? Just out put your there. business out there. Uh, yeah. So we pretty much. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if I should, but we stocked up. And, 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 and what I'll say is, we got a a very large check for food. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. We stocked up on a bunch of got stuff it stuff from Costco. Got and it. Whatnot. So you you this this is New Jersey peanut butter. You 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 moved this peanut butter. Yeah. So we moved <laughs> we moved a bunch of our flowers, our peanut butters, our baking soda, detergent, stuff like that. Okay. We, moved, we did a big massive Costco food shop slash you know household products that was around like five thousand dollars. And we moved it out to Chicago because my stuff in New- the card from New Jersey wasn't allowed to be used in Chicago. Got it. And now you're and now you're just stuck with too much peanut butter. Yeah, I'm stuck with you know oils too. We have a bunch of <laughs> olive oils and it's just a lot of stuff. But again, those will go forever. Yeah, you, can, you peanut butter doesn't actually expire. Well, it does. It says it on the thing. Yeah, but that uh, doesn't. You don't have to trust those. Is sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's what a couple people said in the comments. I don't really, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Are Jerry. You interested? Do you want the peanut butter? No, I'm I'm good. I, I got enough peanut butter. Appreciate you, you it. Think it's a bad thing if I give it to a firehouse though. No, I think it's a great thing. You should do that. Do a video. Yeah, I mean, I just figured. You yeah, know, do a video. Cool. All right, I will. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, can we get a big check that just says peanut butter in the cash line? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jerry. You got it. All right. Bye. bye. Yeah, no, the odd part is not having the... Oh, no. Are you stuck in the... Peanut stuck. butter is giving it away. <laughs> I Are you stuck? Yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> I got him walk away. My shirts are stuck. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's stuck. Yeah. Well, we can help you get out of it, Mook. Yeah, why don't you, Mook, why why don't you walk away? 
He's just got, got so like going to the bathroom. He's got and so he's, frustrated. I think he started to freak out. Yeah, it's like an animal with a chip bag stuck on its head. Hmm. I don't know that I would Uh-oh. use that, those handles. I you got to bend over. Use the top. Undo your sleeves. They're rolled up. It's going to bunch. <laughs> also, Malasek for Virginia is remarkably dumb. What are they doing? Well, his oh, sleeves. No, your stuck. sleeves are rolled up. They're <laughs> bunched. just stuck. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck, dude. <laughs> Why'd you even wear that? Oh, he's... Oh, he's going to start freaking out. There we go. That's such a bad feeling. <laughs> I want to see a video of Jerry super inspiring music. And he's like, today we're giving a <laughs> yeah. peanut butter to a <laughs> fire. Mr. Beast style. <laughs> he should actually make them have to cha- do a challenge for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it expires in a month. Yeah. Just having a panic attack in there. Brandon, are you nervous? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't. Brandon, you're not going to fit. Your arms, you got to cut the arms bigger. It's going to scrape your arms so hard. You have to at least cut the arms bigger. Uh, maybe take the lid off and go in the other way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. That's not a bad idea He's at all. going to be. Take the lid off and step in. <laughs> this is quite a predicament. <laughs> yeah, just going upside down. Use that as the body hole. He can, we didn't specify. He can just stand in it, right? He can. Just wear it upside down. Yeah, you, yeah wear it yeah. upside down. Yeah, go yeah. that way. Go for it. Yeah, that's actually good. Watch the light. <laughs> oh, no. Your arm's not going to fit. We have Just put it on over your body and have your arms to your side. Do you have scissors? Yeah. Malasek, can you get some scissors? Oh, we got scissors. Never mind, we got them. We're cutting a bigger hole? Yeah, cut a bigger hole. We're going to need a bigger hole. Do you use scissors? Uh, Yeah, I think. What do you mean? You I, m- I might have used some heavy duty. Like an X-Acto knife or some yeah, sort of. I, no. I use scissors of some sort. There's of there, that guy's got a duty. knife. I think there there's a guy duty. here who's got a knife. <laughs> we just have a guy walking around with a knife? I was. I just got keep my your arms cookies. at your side. He's just like, you need a knife? Okay, just go. <laughs> keep your arms at your side. Yeah, just go in like that and then. Yeah. Nope. Oh, right. Other way. Go in the other, other way, way dummy. Get in that hole. <laughs> Get in that hole. Oh, yeah, just yeah, just put your arms down. Yeah. Your and then your head will pop head up to pop out the, the top. top. Let's get have your head pop out the top. Oh, sec, can you get us a knife? Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna pants you. Oh, I hope you're wearing a condom, condom. buddy. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. His hair is doing the split thing. Yeah. You can sit. <laughs> it's a posture corrector. It's good. I can't. You can sit. <laughs> this is the first time Brandon's recycled. Here, just go ahead and like fall backwards then. Yeah. <laughs> you can do this. You can sit. Oh, here we go. We got knives. Wait. Brandon, take it off. All right, oh, stand up. <laughs> Stand up, Brandon. That, those knives aren't going to work. Or do you... Yeah, no, they, He's okay like that. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Oh. Handicat. Nice. I'll be careful. Thank you for this, Titus. <laughs> Someone pointed out that... uh. On Earth Day, I went out and bought a big plastic <laughs> container that I will not use. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll <laughs> throw it away. Hey, I, I can't wait to see this sticking out of the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No better way to save our planet than just cut up plastic and throw it away. Uh, the only reason I was stuck, by the way, was because I was doing the shirt pull-down deal. Uh, I, like, I just don't want my belly out. Shirt off. Shirt off? You've cut yourself. That's, an, that's good. Oh, wow. You can get Chase Dick in there, probably. Doubt it. No. No? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's gonna, this might be comfy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Bernie, are you going to run the gauntlet in this thing? You guys see the John Rich tweet? Gosh. No. No. From 4.30 this morning? Yeah, what was that? I have a recurring wet dream that I'm about to play hockey but can never get to the game. I'll be missing a piece of equipment. Escape blade will break. This time I got lost looking for the rink. I get so worked up that I calm and wake up. <laughs> <laughs> it's always devastating. What does that mean? <laughs> Look at the response. I get so worked up that I calm. I... He tweeted this at four thirty in the morning, so he probably was asleep. Yeah, this was a sleep tweet. He tried to like Did sneak this ever... by everybody. It only got a hundred likes. I saw <laughs> two hundred and thirteen thousand. So worked views. up that they had to come. What the fuck? Did he ever explain it? I would get so worked up that I come. Is there a disorder <laughs> where guys come but not from sexy stuff? Where they do get so worked up, they just non-sexual coming. I don't know. <laughs> no. Like a disorder where they just. Some Shooting good, their pants. Some good meatloaf. That would be sexual for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Non-sexual coming. Distr I'd... Like distress coming. Adrenaline coming. Yeah, like how those goats will get scared and pass out. <laughs> and you just come. That would yeah. rock. Yeah. Do you make the face hole bigger? Babe, you better be yeah, hiding yeah, when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, go from the, the other way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think this might still be. No, you got this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah. All yeah. All right. Yeah. There gauntlet. we go. Yeah. Yeah. Time for the gauntlet. There we go. Yeah. You're okay. Good. You got this. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Do it now. <laughs> now? <laughs> He's so good in a trash can. This is wrestling character. Yes. <laughs> All right, TJ, tell me when. I think one hand. You can no warm up shots. Come on. On r slash no fap Christians, there is nocturnal emissions due to stress. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait TJ. Say that again. On r slash no fap Christians. <laughs> um. <laughs> TJ, did he explain it further, or did he? What no. Did he, that was it. Uh, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. <laughs> That's what they're saying. So on you don't r accidentally slash no come? fap Christian. Okay. Okay. What the hell? I think it just means you a gay. Call him, Nick. We need to find out if this was actually... When a man has an emission of semen, he must bathe his whole body with water, and he will be unclean till evening. Leviticus 15, 16. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'll call John Rich. <coughs> What's that? Yeah. Leviticus. Gun to your head if you had to. That'd probably be tough. Had what? Had, had to what? Had to what? If, if it was had like, if what? it was like, come right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could do it. No. Uh, it'd be... uh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let me try right now. Okay. Yeah, you didn't shit your pants when you were getting robbed. You came. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I didn't. I can't come. Okay. Thanks for <gasps> thanks for <Sorry>. checking. <laughs> so I'll try to come. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Zach Wilson Bronco. Oh. We're At Ryan Retire. We're trying to call John Rich. I didn't watch it a second ago. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll get in touch with him. I'm very curious if he meant to do that or. I I don't know. That's when you wake up delirious. You send something off. Yeah. Maybe he misunderstands what a wet dream is. Well, no, because then he said, "Then I come at the." Oh, end. and yeah. then I cut right. Yeah, makes firm it pretty. Grasp. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Well. Don't Are you ready, Brandon? Having a wet dream. He hasn't really tweeted since then. I'm gonna quote tweet and say, "What the fuck?" So more people talk about this. Yeah. Was he at the FDMI NYPD ice hockey game over the weekend? Oh. Ooh. Are you ready, TJ? Yep. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's going to oh. a knee. If he beats Jeff. Oh, he will. He's going to beat Jeff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's not going to. Oh, I don't oh, know. Shit. This is going to be great, him going up against Malzak. 
There it is. There you oh. go. Oh, here we go. Zesty. Oh, Zesty yeah. garbage. <laughs> Sassy little can. <laughs> I like trash can Brandon. I do too. Yeah. One of my favorite it's versions. It's kind of fitting. Do you lose your lost shoe? Lost yeah. shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. What the fuck, man? He's really good. Oh, sec. <laughs> what if this is the best version of him? Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the football throw is going to really suck. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you got it. Nick. Yes. Oh my God. Dude, right. he's got an awesome time. This is this is this over is though. though. No. And one shoe. Yeah. 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 See, you, you can't, can't lift back. your arm. Might be an underhand deal. No, he's okay. Sorted it out. There you go. One of these is gonna go in. <laughs> What's up, bud? Sorry. Oh no! Uh, oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> Second level is tough to get to. There it is. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay. All right, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. TJ on the on the scoreboard just put Candon. Oh, there it is. Hey, that was wet. This is a really good time. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's a great time. Get in here. <laughs> Come on, Brandon. 218. Giddy up, boy. Most popular deli meat. <laughs> Ten, uh, ten most common boxing, defensive formation, bowling, football, boxing, bowling, uh, tennis, golf, uh, Amazon, does Pele? Uh, oh, hello in six languages. Iran, you know that. U.S. Uh, Russia, China. 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 India. Hey. Got it. Great time. Wow. 257, dude. Wow. Great time. Wow. That was Sub incredible. Three in the can. One shoe. Malice, like, what happened? Yeah, you all right? You you're right. You're the guy in a trash can. Yeah, just kicked it hard. <laughs> that. <laughs> all right. Malice, Not Malice like, had nothing. Hmm. Good job, Brandon. Incredible time. Seven. Jack Colkey. Oh, Kulky. oh my God. Oh, Be no. Jack Colkey, wow. Brandon. Inside of a can. Candon. That, that yeah. would be your persona in there. Yeah, it's Candon Walker. Right. <laughs> it wasn't that bad except for the three point shots. Sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Damn. Good job, Brandon. <laughs> How you feel? I need, good. I need to know what happened with this giant fish thing. How are the birds doing? Oh, yeah. <sighs> they just got out. What? 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 My Wait. wife just texted me and said the birds got out. One of them has attached themselves to Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> How's Tommy handling They're it? They're using his leg as a perch. John? <laughs> yes, hello. John. How you doing? What was that tweet? <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we were asking about uh, a different tweet. What? 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 Is that? that is, is that real? Tweet. Yeah, that is a real fact. <laughs> what? And you tweeted at four thirty in the morning, so that was like right after you came. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like 10 <laughs> How often does this happen? I bet that's happened five times. Five times. Five times, and do you? But like, you're a you're a grown man. I didn't even know they had wet dreams for grown men. I got rid of them. Nah, dude, I still get them. <laughs> but that's even the worst type because it's not even it's not even like you're having sex with someone hot. You're just having a fear wet yeah. dream. So, so I've actually had this 
like for a long time, a majority of my wet dreams, which I do still have at 32 years old, are not like sexual. <laughs> my first it's wet like, dream is about me jerking off. Where like I'm very <clears throat> anxious and like I almost feel like I have to pee. And then and you then, just like, come. It all comes to a head, and I just wake up coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just wake up coming is a hell of a sentence. Is Why? it is it like a pleasurable cum, or is it just happening? I think I'm holding a pee in, and I'm like trying to find a toilet, and then I wake up coming. <laughs> but Are like you when you wake pee? up, is it does it feel good? Can you hear Nick? Yeah, he's asked it to feel good. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It feels good. It's kind of hard to like embrace it though, because like. Uh, takes you like a second to realize what's happening but yeah I, yeah it feels good what does your fiance think of this i, I don't think i've ever told her <laughs> well, you told the whole world <laughs> well did you mean to tweet that did you mean to tweet that yeah <laughs> you did I thought, it, I thought it was kind of funny no it is funny but it also was like it, at 4 30 in the morning like i i know that i've like like when i'm nodding off to bed like I'll realize, like, oh, shit, I'm I'm on Twitter. Like, I could have easily, like, hit a button and, tw you know, Rosie O'Donnell-esque. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe I didn't um, have the same inhibitions I would have had at, like, 9 o'clock in the morning. You had post-nut clarity. Yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, I... <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I haven't really thought too much about it today. This, did you send that tweet off before or after you cleaned yourself up? After I cleaned okay. up. Okay, okay. okay. Does this ever happen to you while you're awake? Yeah, does it happen you when you're awake? inadvertently come? Well, what do you mean does it happen when I'm awake? Like, do you inadvertently come? Do you have a great piece of steak and jizz your pants? Do <laughs> no, you... no, or, like, no, someone no, yells no, at you no. and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. I'm coming. No, no it's, it's, only, it's only in my dreams. <sighs> wow. Okay. I mean, I'm jealous of the wet dream thing because that those did rock when you were a kid, but I don't know about the anxiety wet dream. It's weird, man. I've... I, that's been like happening since I was a kid. Like I'd say, like eighty percent of my wet dreams aren't sexual. <laughs> the fact that you have <sighs> statistical, you can say eighty percent. Like it's just normally not because whenever I hear people talk about wet dreams, they're like, "Man, mine aren't like that, really." Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, John. Appreciate it. Yeah. You All right. It. See ya. <laughs> you know me. I'm googling over here, and apparently. Like random ass wet dreams are a thing, and it's how dudes' reproductive systems. It's like a check engine. Like, let me run the engine. Just clearing it out. Your body kind of yeah. clears it out, and uh, yeah, this my 26 year old male friend gets wet dreams from food. He loves to cook and eat food. I always thought they were sexual. Are they? And people and people are saying, I don't know. Wow. You can just come. Makes me think of that uh, clip in the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary where he just talks about how he's coming. Coming, all, yeah. Coming the pump, all the pump, time. And I'm coming, and I'm coming yeah. more, and I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never stop coming. That's crazy. I mean, wet dreams were awesome when you were a kid. Yeah, if I'm going to have a wet yeah. dream now, it better be, like, hot. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like VR. Yeah. I would take a pill that would guarantee a wet dream. Oh, yeah, I would too. Me too. Wait, what's so great Where, about go to a sleep wet dream. with a condom. You could just yeah, and you you could dream about whatever. Yeah, you just dream like you're having sex, and then now you're coming. It's yeah, I only, I've only ever had one. Same. Really? Only one. For it was the first time I ever ejaculated too. Really? Like w when I was coming of age, like I I went to bed and woke up. I thought I sneezed in my pants. I was like, looking, oh. I was like, what the fuck is that? And then uh, Titus, we, uh, I think mine was my first. Time yeah. ever ejaculating? Is that a really? thing? I was a real late bloomer when it came to jizz. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't introduce jizz into your life until I think I was a freshman in high school. Now you can't get enough of it. Is that is that late? <laughs> no, that's that late? Uh, what fourteen? Thirteen? Yeah. I feel like that's 14. around. I think it's like twelve to fourteen. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was about that age. I think. Yeah. Yeah. What's your uh, wet dream body count? One. I, I think no, I'm, my, my I only wet dream is about three or four. Off. Yeah, I think I got five, four <laughs> or five, maybe. I remember I, when I used, I had like one summer where I had like three and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> and then it just never happened again. Brandon? Damn. You've been mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't a big comer. <laughs> really? I <laughs> 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 wasn't really a big comer. I, I came later than you did. What? When was your first time? Like 15 or 16. Shit. You are behind the wheel? <laughs> yeah, I was just playing ball. It's I, funny to be like, I came later than, than Nick did. So yeah. what, like 2005? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It took me a while to come. 
I think I my wet dream was about American Pie. I didn't even see the movie. I just knew about the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this. I was like twelve uh, when that movie came out, and my parents wouldn't let me see it. But all like some of the the bad boys in my school saw yeah. it. They're like, dude, Shannon Elizabeth gets topless, and I was like, what would that be like? <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's, <laughs> your wet dream is about your boys talking. Yeah, to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cream my pants thinking about that. Robbie had one, remember, when we made him not jerk off. I think he went, like, 20 days, and then he came all in his pants. <laughs> I had a fear of having one at, like, sleepovers. Yeah. I kind of want one again. Fuck. If you fall asleep yeah, with your hand in Vaseline, you'll have a wet dream. I believe. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I, I now have, I have <laughs> a Jerry <laughs> surplus of Vaseline. <laughs> Let's see that tweet next week being like, anyone want Vaseline? <laughs> <laughs> I got too much. Did you see the guy that kept his hand submerged in lotion for a day? No. Yeah. Just got real got real pruney. That was it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no cool. reveal. Yeah, but people were like stepping in the like, you're gonna lose your fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> How long would it take? What think about that as a torture? Yeah. Wow. Just a hand in lotion. Hey Brandon. Hey, bud. Hey. Give us a take. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I really think the media set up J.J. McCarthy to fall in that green room on Thursday night. Oh, you're you're mm. still? No, I'm not still. This is Will this Levis is all crazy. over. This is Will Levis all over again, buddy. You're still, cha- <laughs> still. You're still chasing you Michigan. Y'all are letting people lie to you. I don't let people lie to me. Last year, everybody said, well, you know what? Will Levis might go number one or two. No, the fuck he might not. These you're teams, still chasing Michigan. These teams are lying about liking him, and they're lying about liking J.J. He's not going top ten. Steven, this is your week. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of buzz uh, that he is going like top four. There's a ton of buzz yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, you're right. Um, I, I would be shocked if he fell out of the top ten considering the 11, 12, and 13 teams well, only quarterbacks. You said shocked if he fell out of the top ten. Well, these nuts. <laughs> Steven, are you ready for draft night? It's your favorite yeah, night yeah, of the year. Gonna, we're still fielding calls, but yeah, final mock draft will be out, I think, Thursday. Fielding calls, okay. We're having the uh, the draft show with every fucking person in the company in it. Oh, no. Too many people? It's just so many people. How it's many people on the desk? Five. How, who? It's me. It started out with me, Ron Che. Now it's me, Ron Che, Compton, and Lawan with Frank on the side. And we have guests from Barstool. And it's going to be the 200 people. Forgot Frank, is, Frank has been on the side for a couple Nick's of years. Nick's there, he too. Does the, he does You're the not on the desk, though, right? Uh, I'm, I'm in the Verizon war room. Yeah. Taylor will probably bail. For sure. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, like yeah, Taylor, he, uh, just, I like Taylor, but it's just... I like Taylor, but i got to interview like uh, 30 people for 30 picks, and then we're talking with five... It's gonna Hear be me out. out. And Blackman set uh, it up like that and then fucking and he left. left. Hear me out. Uh, cut me. No, I'm not cutting you. Cut me. No, I'm not cutting you. I'll cut myself before I no, cut, cut me. Cut. <laughs> no, dude, I won't be mad at all. I will cut myself before I cut what are you. you what's your role? Oh, you're on the... No, you're not on the desk, are you? He's in no, the war I'm room. in the war room. You cut him. Cut me. I'm not cutting, Nick. Cut me. Cut him. You're not on it. Okay, so it's great. I got cut. That should be easy then. Yeah, yeah we emptied up a spot. All right, Mook, yeah. Titus, Kate, all out. Nice. Fuck yeah. That's I feel good about that. Yeah. I'll try not to take it personally, but yeah, I understand. Okay. Can I cut Che? You can cut me, and I won't be mad. I will be mad for like thirty seconds. I'm not cutting you. Can I cut Che? Uh, can I put out a mock draft uh, the day after the draft? Yes. And have the best score? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, actually, just do the Billy Football. Just post date it. Oh yeah. You put out a mock draft and just have it be published from Wednesday. And then we can be like, oh, my God, Nick got every pick right. 100%. All the trades, too. And you get How, one Cowards wrong. only put out mock drafts before the draft. Yeah. I'll have I'll be wrong, and I'll put one out afterwards. I feel like this draft doesn't have a lot of buzz. Maybe because the – I feel like – Just we, set. No, I, I – maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it, the draft usually happened before the NBA and NHL playoffs. That's what I was going to say. The The draft happened so late to me. Yeah. It's crazy they haven't had the draft yet. Like, how many times can you talk about the same dudes over and over? That's why, it, like, just kind of the interest seems to just – Last Thursday would have been perfect. Yeah. Because there was no NBA games. There, there was nothing last Thursday. That was draft night. It's crazy that the NBA will have their draft, like, sometimes less than a week after the NBA Finals end. Yeah. And the NFL is months and months after the Super Bowl. I just I, – I don't know why 
What the, why do you need this much time? Was it late, Stephen? Is it late this year? No, it's, no it's it's normally that. When it used to be on Saturdays, it would typically coincide with the first day of the NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs. So it'd be like a crazy day. But then it would start at noon. But yeah, you're right. Since it starts on Thursday, it has been the end of April. But yeah, you're right. It would be a, a good opportunity to swoop in last Thursday with a vacant sports night. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That was our draft yeah. talk. Um, you want to spin the wheel? This would suck if Brandon had to get wet in a trash can. Oh, oh my God. That's moisture wicking. Mm-hmm. Is what it is. You're chilling that thing, dude. I mousetrap thought off. Mousetrap was coming <laughs> off the goddamn wheel. <laughs> On or off? Well, we it's off it. because we just hit it. Right. It. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So, All right, so now mousetrap back on. Mousetrap is back <laughs> Why? on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a wheel yeah. reset. A wheel reset. It's a wheel reset. Uh, is towel whip back on? Yes. Yeah. That was a fun one. <laughs> How about towel whip instead of mousetrap? <laughs> Why not both? Um, here's a big question. Is Fart Eliminator back on? No. no. That will be three months' time. Deal. Uh, nope, I do. It's back on. <laughs> okay, fine. It's back on. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it just works like that, huh? Yeah. You did use your nope, I do. Yep. Oh, Brandon, you could use your nope, I do for the mousetrap. Mm, I don't want to use it for that. Why? I want to use it for something more important. Oh, his big red <laughs> forehead. Big, big red big. forehead was Kate's, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's laughs> <not. laughs> you lick a stick of big red and you put it on your forehead. It burns. It leaves giant red rectangle. Oh, shit. Uh, it did end up burning. It, it would does, actually yeah. maybe, it would maybe like Uh-oh. kill Mook. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Don't we owe one for. No, Kate? Chase was. Oh, yeah, Chase. Chase. Oh, I hope it lands on Chase again. <laughs> Oh, God. Did you see the M. Night Shyamalan trailer that your team's yeah. talking about? Yep, I did, yeah. This trailer just came out that apparently has, like, to a T, a scene from their movie that's yeah. coming out on. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Like, matches it exactly. Yep. M. Night. I know. Teach. Ah. EJ, what do we got? Um, <laughs> did I write it down? Oh, did we already do it? It was the alphabet one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to spin again then? Okay. Should then have your rip as well? Yeah. Zah! Where is Zah? Classic. He's at the Classic today. I think he's back tomorrow. All right, when he comes back, we'll find out. Zah's got something fun. Yeah. Yeah. Zah always has something fun. Okay, good show, everyone. See everyone tomorrow. Brandon, stay in that trash can. Why? Just for fun. Until tomorrow. Drive home in it. All right, see everyone tomorrow. Please like and subscribe. Hey, have a good week, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.